Everyone, what's up? It's BQ. It's the Impact Lounge. Doing some morning errands. Thought I'd do this video real quick. I don't usually like doing two uploads in a day. We have a real good podcast coming out later today, but I had to speak on this with Alberto El Patron. But first things first, uh, as I'm speaking to you right now, we're one subscriber away from 5,500. So if it's your, you know, if you're a new subscriber, really appreciate you because uh, it's the number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan. But don't be here if you're not an open, re- open-minded Impact fan. If you want someone that just highlights all the raw raw stuff, you know, go go check out another channel. But if you want to keep it real, Impact Lounge is the number one place to be for you. Um, Alberto El Patron. I just want to talk about this real quick. I'm here at the gas station. I'm gonna get it, get some gas so I can mow the lawn. This dude, you, I'm I'm gonna link the the article, one of the articles here in the description. Arrested on alleged sexual assault charges. Now, we've known it as wrestling fans, and specifically here on the channel as Impact fans. Like, this guy has had issues. This guy has problems. And I've had problems in life. I've had my ups and downs. There's been times where I, I probably needed to needed assistance or someone to talk to earlier on than I actually went and seeked out that assistance. And there's been times where I've, I've gone through some things and I've addressed it quickly, you know? Nothing to this extent of Alberto El Patron, but I mean, we all have our ups and downs in lives. In life, this guy obviously has some issues, but he's one of those dudes. If you hear his interviews, read his interviews, where it's just always someone else's fault, and he's never really admitted. It doesn't appear that he has admitted to himself, like I have issues, I have problems, whether it be anger issues, wh- you know, whatever it is. It doesn't seem like he's ever come to that realization, like I need help. It's always just someone else's fault. So when stories come out like this one that just came out, alleged sexual assault charges, it gets to the point where you kind of believe it, right? You know, it's, it's so off the wall, the stuff that you hear in the past, he, him say, or things you've heard that he did that, you know, at some point you're kind of like, well, that stuff's a little too much, but now it's, now it's like, we kind of tend to agree or tend to believe that this stuff is true. So I, I don't know the relationship to the the lady in the in the report. It could be a girlfriend, friend, you know, who who knows? And we don't know the details of you know the sexual assault side of things. But you know, it says he slapped her in the back of the head, and then did it again, and then tried to make her put on a dress and dance for him. Like that's that's some crazy crap. And in here, you can't be all right. If, if you're in the middle, if you're arguing with someone, you're going off and you're, you're just flying off the handle. Now, you're, now put on this dress and dance. I mean, whew, that just, that just, it's so weird, but you have to believe that there's, there's truth to it. And then told her not to cry or I will drop your kid off in the middle of the, the street. So we don't know if this kid is, we're, we're talking about a newborn, a toddler, you know, if, the, the, if this kid's in a bassinet, a, a car seat, or if this kid can walk. We don't know. It could be a teenager for all we know. We don't know that from, I, I read multiple websites and haven't seen anything that really, you know, gave too much detail. But, you know, then he was arrested and released on $50,000 bond. So, you guys remember... He came to Impact Wrestling. I was there for this. I don't know if some of you guys were. I was there for his debut. And I, I will admit, the place came unglued. It went bananas. And I don't know if it was just back then we were kind of desperate for, you know, some kind of name value to, to show up in the company. But the place went crazy. And it's it sucks because it didn't come across on TV because they misspelled his name on the Tron behind him as Alberto Del Patron, I think. So they had to redo it. And on TV, it came off awful. But the place really went crazy. And, you know, the CCC chance and everything. And then this dude wins the TNA world title the same night. So they pulled a classic TNA move. And then he was, you know, obviously eventually stripped. And I think he had a couple runs with the title, right? I, I don't remember the timeline in my head. But I know that he had, you know, something crazy go on, go on with Paige in public. And they suspended him, took the title from him. And I think Impact got a lot of good points. At the time, there was so much negativity surrounding the company. And I think they got good points for that. And then they brought him back. And, you know, they made it work. I thought the way they brought him back at Bound for Glory was horrible. Like, he sucked the life out of the show. 
are that particular Bound for Glory was just it's it's been the only bad show in my opinion in the, in the last several years pay per view wise. But a lot of it was because Hammy sucked the life out of it with that long promo right after the first match, and then he ruined the main event in a really predictable way. And you know, and I wasn't totally against bringing him back. I mean, he came back as a heel and anti-management, and you know, it was working. But um, they looked pretty dumb in hindsight after suspending him, stripping him, and then bringing him back. You know, I don't think he's ever we're ever going to see him wrestle again anywhere. Um, he fought Tito Ortiz and Capate Americas and got his ass kicked in three and a half minutes. If you, you guys seen that fight, it was pretty embarrassing. You know, so uh, this dude, I hope that he gets goes out there. He gets the help needed, help necessary, and because he has issues. And I've met him once in public, and he was he was cool. I met him at a at WrestleCon as an Impact star. You know, he was at the Impact booth, and he was he was pretty cool for the most part. A um, little distracted, but, you know, seemed pretty cool. But hopefully this dude uh, gets some help. We're, we're all pretty tired of seeing him pop up in the news. It's, you know, definitely getting getting old uh, as a wrestling fan. So um, got a new podcast uh, Lewis did that's going to be up later today. So definitely check that out. Thanks for swinging by the lounge as always. And I'm out. Peace.